fight commentary breakdowns. Imagine if you combined volleyball and kung fu. What would you get? This. Look at that. So basically the rules are similar to volleyball. Look at that cool axe kick, jumping axe kick. Look at that, man. You can only touch the ball three times per side. And then you can't use your hands or arms to touch the ball. So it's like volleyball, but kung fu style. Look at those kicks. It's crazy. Look at that. Boom. And... I think, from my opinion, because the net's so low and you're not allowed to block with your hands or arms, it makes attacking much easier than blocking. I mean, you could jump and try to use your feet to block, but it's not that easy. And then the ball's coming at you at such speeds. Look at that. They actually caught it. You're also allowed to double tap. I just realized you're allowed to double tap. You can't do that in volleyball. See, look at that. He tried to use his whole body as a shield. It's not as effective as in volleyball where, you know, you got two or three blockers using their hands. You see, he's trying to use his body as a shield. And also, it's only three players, if you notice. Dude, the ball got blocked and he kicked it back. So, CPAC Takra, Southeast Asia, of course. Look at that kick. I mean, a lot of people say, what can... Kung Fu Taekwondo be used for. Maybe they're not the best in sort of a cage match or MMA match, but man, use that for this, man. <laughs> Jump outside kick. So we'll watch one more. Oh, man, that kick. Can you guys... It's almost like a tricking kick. Have you guys... If you, any of you are trickers... I feel like this takes a toll on their wrist, though. They're always breaking fall with the wrist. They'll lose all feeling, lose all nerves to their get arthritis on your wrist. I wanted to show you guys some variations. So this is called football tennis. So, of course, it's not as OG as the other one because this one, the net's much lower. There's only two people, and you can use your head. So this is more kind of combining soccer and volleyball instead of like combining kung fu and volleyball here we have what's called foot volley so it's like combining beach volleyball and soccer so see it's a lot more head not as much kicking those really crazy kicks that we saw so not as exciting as cpac takra although that kick no here we have a sport called foot bag again it's looks like three people oh no two people sorry and I think this one, yeah, it's got more potential to have some cool kicks. But this one's interesting. I think if you've ever played hacky sack or something, it almost reminds me of that. It's like if you combine hacky sacking and volleyball. So it's not as cool as CPAC Takra. CPAC Takra, because it's a bigger ball. You're, you can do cooler kicks to it. This one's more kind of like fancy, but CPAC Takra is like, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like this better or do you like CPAC Takra? World Footbag Championships. This is from Bulgaria. So, it's only two people. It's, yeah, the, this almost feels like badminton. If you combine badminton and... I was going to say shuttlecock. That's something we should explore in the future. But this is badminton and hacky sacky. So, okay, you get some cool kicks. But because the shuttlecock is... Not the shuttlecock, sorry. The, uh, the hacky sack or the foot bag is much lighter to kick. You don't get as crazy kicks because you don't need as much force to kick it over the net. So I think by looking at all these examples, I still like CPAC Takra better. What do you guys think, man? Which one do you like better? And what's the analogy you would use? I said Kung Fu, but maybe it's like combining Taekwondo with volleyball or combining Taekwondo with badminton. What do you guys think? Fight commentary breakdowns out. If you like this type of stuff, let me know.